welcome back to my channel Mantech Tutorials. My name is MJ Men, your regular host. Today's tutorial is going to be on Visual Basic, Visual Basic uh, application in or within Microsoft Office applications. Particularly today, I'm going to be working on Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm going to be writing two programs today. First, I'm going to use Visual Basic for application in Microsoft PowerPoint to write a program that is going to say hello world. Now, secondly, I'm going to write a program that is going to take the values of two numbers, compute them and give a result, more like a calculator. So without wasting so much of your time, let's get right to it. Here with me, I have my Microsoft Office or Microsoft PowerPoint. 2019. There's something I'm missing here. If you look at my menu bar, I'm supposed to have a developer menu, but by default, you don't see it. I have to go and turn it off from option. So I'm quickly going to go to file, uh, option, under option, customize ribbon, and I'll scroll down to developer. Okay. All right, so with the help of developer, I can go behind and use Visual Basic. Okay, so this is Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications Presentation 1. First, I said I'm going to write a program that is going to say hello world. You know, in the world of programming, every program, the first program they ever write or should ever write is uh, a program that should say hello world. So for the culture, I'm going to write a program that will say hello world. Then secondly, we're going to write a program that is going to compute the values of two of my numbers, more like a calculator. Now quickly, I'm going to insert a form. In my form, I'm going to expand it. This is my GUI, my graphical user interface. And I'm going to design it. On the left, I have my properties panel. And then on the right, I have my toolbox right here. And then on the middle, I have the form. So quickly, I need three objects from the toolbox here. First, I need the label. The label. Then I need a text box. Finally, I need a button. So I'm going to show you guys how this works in a moment. This goes here. Okay. Now, when I click on one object, I'm able to edit it here under the properties. So I'm going to come here, change the label to answer. Okay. And I'm going to change the caption. I want it to be empty. I'm also going to change the background color to something gray. And finally, I need to change the text alignment to center. <clears throat> so here's what I'm doing. The label here is going to display answer. Where I say we're going to write a program that says hello world. By the time we finish writing the code behind, whatever happens when the user click the button, all we know is that we want the label to display the answer for us, which is hello world. Now, quickly, I'm going to say, um, okay, I need to edit this too. I'm going to change this to submit. Take note of the name because I'm going to use it in the code to reference the object here. Again, I'm going to change the caption. to click me done okay let me expand this a little bit all right so quickly i'm going to okay there's the trick i want whenever a user click on this button or uh, whenever a user types in something into this text box and they click on this button, I want something to show on this um, label. We want something to happen. So I'm going to go in 
to the code and program it. Okay, I have a subroutine here. And uh, like I said, I want whenever the user is submit underscore click. Whenever the user click on the button submit, you want, to, you want something to happen. What do you want to happen? First things first, I'm going to declare variables. Variables are a, a, a piece of, should I call them object, where we used to store values in programs. So I need two variables and I'm going to use the game statement. Dim x as string enter. So I'm using the string data type. There's a plethora of other data types you can use. We have the integer, we have um, the, we have long, short, boolean, uh, we have double, we have character, and uh, a whole lot of them. We have both the primitive and non-primitive data type. But I'm more interested in string because the value I want to store under this variable is the text only value. I don't want to store numbers, I don't want to store signs. I just want to store text. Also, I'm going to say dim y as string. So I have two empty variables now, I have to pass value into them. I'm going to say x is equal to bracket open. Let me see. Hello. Hello. Like this. Yeah. Uh, okay. X is equal to hello and Y is equal to text box one dot text. Okay, so I pass in a value to x, and what is that? I want the value of x, or I set the value of x to be hello. And then I set the value of y to be text, bo uh, text box one dot text. What this means is that y is going to assume the value of whatever the user types into that text box. All right, so moving on, I'm going to say something like um, um, answer, that's the label now. Answer dot caption equal to x. I need the answer now or the caption under the label. What is going to output? I want it to be x and y. So I can't say x plus y or x times y. I'm going to concatenate two values like this and y. Enter. So quickly, I'm going to run my program. Now, I'm going to say world and click on hello world. But there's a problem here because I found out that hello and world, they are joined together, no spacing, which is wrong. In all sense of uh, professionalism, it's bad program. Now, I just need to close this go back and correct that. In order for me to introduce space, I'm first going to concatenate x and I'm going to introduce space. I want to use two space and then uh, I'm going to concatenate space and y. So, if I go in there, I will run my program again. Let me see. World. Perfect. So, hello world. Now it can be anything. I can say hello Africa. All right, hello Africa. I can say hello Benjamin. And the program say, oh, no, 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 I'm going to say, I'm doing All right, the program says hello to me. Okay, so this one is done. Quickly, I'm going to move on to the second program, of which I'm going to write a program that is going to compute the value of two numbers. 
Now, I'm going to insert another form. Good. Then I'm going to design this just like the first one. So I need a label. I need four labels here. So I'm going to key label actually. Drag it and drag it. One is going to be here to display the answer. And the one is going to be here to display the answer. And uh, these three are going to describe text boxes. I don't need this guy. Then I need a button. I need a button. And I need text boxes. I need one. I hold on control to duplicate it. I need to expand this. I need to expand this. I need to expand this. And this. Now quickly, I'm going to go in here and edit the properties. I want this guy to be answer. Answer. I want him to be empty. I want the background color to be a little bit gray. Finally, I want to have this entire line. Okay, I'm done with this. So I go to this. I want the label to be first first number. Uh -huh. I want this to be second. Then text box one dot text, text box two dot text. I want to change this guy to submit. And uh, caption should be calculate. Perfect. So the user puts in a number in the first box, another number in the second box. And then depending on what they want, whether they want to multiply, add or subtract, and then they hit calculate. Program takes those two values, compute them and display the answer in the, um, uh, the label here. So quickly, again, I want whenever the user click calculate, I want something to happen. So I'm going to write a program for it. Quickly, I need two variables again. So I'm going to use the dim statement. Dim x as string. Dim y as string. And uh, I need to pass values again. So I'm going to say x is equal to text box one dot text. Y is equal to text box two dot text. So x and y are going to assume the values, whatever value the user input into the first and second text box on the user interface there. Next, I need to set answer dot caption to be equal to answer dot caption should be equal to what? Answer the caption should be equal to x x let's start with multiplication x times y. Next I'm going to run my program. So quickly first number 30 second number uh, 5 30 times 5 150 perfect let me try another one. Let's see, 100, 
times 10, 1,000. Cool. What if I want to look for the sum of those two numbers? All I have to do is just change times the operator to plus. Then I run my program again. So I'm going to say 10,000 plus 1,000. And then it is equal to 100. What do we get? 10,000 plus 9,000 is equal to, hold on, x plus y, of course. I'm going to say 100 plus 100 equal to 100 oh oh, 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 okay, so the plus operator there assumes that I am concatenating the two values, so gives me 100, 100, not actually a plus for it. So, and where did I make that mistake? Because I was supposed to declare the variable as integers, not string. So the program is seeing my numbers as string. Yes. So when it is string, not a number, it cannot compute accurately. So I'm going to say x, x plus y. Then I'm going to come back here and change it to integer. My bad. Integer. Quickly, I'm going to go here, run my program. So I'm going to say 10,000 times 4 plus 9,000 equal to 19,000. Perfect. Perfect. Let me try it again. 100 plus 100, 200. Okay, so remember again, the data type is very important. If I leave it as string, program is seeing it as text and it cannot compute the value of text. Once you put plus, it's assuming you want to concatenate or join the two values. So that's why I got 100, 100. All right, guys, this is the end of the tutorial for today. Please don't leave without hitting the red button below that says subscribe. Um, very, very important. Remember to turn on notification. So watch out for this space in the coming days and coming weeks. I am going to be churning out a whole bunch of interesting tutorials on uh, Photoshop, Corel Draw, and uh, some really, really interesting stuff. Okay, so see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe. I'm out.